Now, the one thing that I love about multicam inside a Media Composer, and really multicam inside any nonlinear editing application, is that you can actually use multicam for a whole bunch of different purposes. It doesn't necessarily need to be just for editing multiple cameras. For example, I've gotten a couple emails recently about people setting up multimedia presentations, and what they want to do is they want to be able to see different streams playing back at the same time. And it's something that's very simple to set up with multicam. So I thought I would show you that first, and then we're gonna get into the nuts and bolts of multicam with a real actual multicam project. So as you can see in my bin, I have four clips, and they're just clips from Digital Juices Video Tracks HD. And hypothetically, I'm working on a presentation about transportation, and I'm gonna have these clips playing on different screens all at the same time. And I want to take a look at what they would look like all playing together because maybe I'm going to want to choose a different clip, you know, instead of maybe this shot here. So how we set up multicam inside of Media Composer, or in this case, Symphony, is very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to select all four of the clips. I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard to select them all. I'm going to navigate up to bin because the first thing I need to do is I actually need to group all of these clips together. Now, depending on how you want to set these up, what you might want to do is go in and mark in points in each one of the clips. So why don't I just do that here? I'll just mark an in point there. We'll set an in point here. We'll set an in point, I don't know, maybe about there. So let's do that again. I'm just going to hit command A to select them all. I'm going to navigate up to bin and I'm going to come down to group clips. Once I have the clips selected and grouped together, I'm going to be asked, okay, well, how do I want to actually group these together? You can see that I can group them by the in points, the out points, or the source time code, which in most cases, if you're doing a quote unquote proper multicam project, that's how you're going to set things up with source time code. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're simply going to use the in point and I'm going to say, okay. Once I say, okay, you're going to see that I have a new multi clip inside my bin and I'm just going to call this transportation multi clip. Now you'll see that if I take this multi clip and I drag it up here into my window and I hit play, you'll see that I get black happening to begin with. And then all of a sudden this shot cuts in. Well, something's going on because I should be able to see all of those clips playing back at the same time, but for some reason I don't. And the reason that I don't is because I'm missing one fundamental step, one fundamental command that I need to do inside of Media Composer or Symphony to set this up. And we're gonna find that command up here under tools. I'm gonna to navigate down to the command palette and you'll see that I have a section inside of the command palette called, appropriately enough, multicam. And you're gonna see that I have two choices. I have a quad split and I have a nine split. So meaning I can see four cameras at the same time or nine cameras at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my button for quad split and I'm gonna drag it right up here into the preview window. I'm gonna close the command palette and as soon as I come up and I click on the multi clip and I hit my quad split, you're gonna see now that I have the four cameras all set to go. Now, the reason that this looks a little bit different and that there's black in these shots here is because remember, I didn't set up the in point at the start of each one of these clips. I set it randomly throughout. Whereas with this clip, I left the in point pretty much right at the start. So you'll see if I hit play, what's gonna happen is, is that all of these clips are gonna pop in where the in points were set and you'll see that as I play it through, we can take a look at all four of these clips playing back at the same time. Now, I'm using a standard iMac with a FireWire 800 connection and you can see I'm playing back four HD clips all at the same time with no slowdown, no drop frames, nothing. So you can see, very good response at DNX60. Now, let's get into a real multicam project, one that you'd probably run into when you're working in your own workflow, so I can show you not only how simple it is to set up, but how simple it is to edit with multicam and how simple it is to get in and make adjustments to your multicam edit when you're done.